Here comes our suspect now, but maybe you want a better view. How's this? Close enough to see that he needs a shave. The images, I would say, are some of the better ones I've ever, ever seen. I mean, we have good clarity as far as, uh, you know, a facial shot. It was just before 10 this morning. The suspect enters this store in Forest Lake and browses the shelves. My employee came out and asked him if he needed anything, and then he asked if he could use a restroom. He picks up the laptop, puts it down, walks out, walks back in, walks out this time with the laptop, and takes off. He actually went to turn around and go the wrong direction where it's a dead end down here. So he, he kind of stumbled, and as he was turning, he made direct eye contact with my employee standing by the door, and they both kind of waved at each other. All of it, even the wave, caught on camera. Right now, I think I have 17 cameras. You heard right, 17 cameras. There's nowhere you can go in this store and not be on one of them. Even in the parking lot, there are two views. Ripping off a store that sells surveillance equipment. Was this guy unlucky or stupid or both? Probably could be both. Could be his unlucky day. So far, everyone that's come here and done anything turned out to be stupid. We've caught every one of them. Police have tracked down all of his predecessors, and store owner Troy Stanton is supposed to get paid back. It never happens. I've lost thousands and thousands of dollars. I've never retrieved anything on any of my losses. Forget fingerprints. This guy's face will probably get him caught just like all the others. That's an added bonus for us. I mean, we obviously, you know, it's, lots of establishments have surveillance video, but when they have quality of video, it, it makes our job a little bit easier. Odds are pretty good that someone will recognize him. And Stanton says, I hope you like your laptop. <laughs>